एवरीवन वेलकम टू द डेट ऑफ ट्वेल्थ ऑफ जुलाई लास्ट डे ऑफ द वीक अ गुड वन फॉर द मार्केट इवेंचुअली आई वांट टू स्टार्ट द डे विद अ कोट दिस इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर पीपल हु हैव बीन इन्वेस्टिंग फॉर लॉन्ग रन दे वांट टू एंजॉय लाइफ एंजॉय मनी एट द एंड ऑफ देयर इनिंग्स वन डे यू विल वेक अप एंड देर वोट बी एनी मोर टाइम टू डू द थिंग्स यू हैव ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड डू इट नाउ एंड आई सी गॉन अप टेन परसेंट फ्रॉम फोर्थ ऑफ जून लो वी आर एट द टॉप ऑफ द फ्रॉथ प्रॉब्ली मे बी अ माइल मोर टू गो बट आई वुड रिकमेंड बुक अ पार्ट ऑफ योर प्रॉफिट एंजॉय अ पार्ट ऑफ द लाइफ one bonus quote from mark cuban among my favorites in hindsight i have found this quote to be true in my context many many times in the last one or two months no surprise for guessing this is the graph of pcs today hardly one or two times in the 5 minute candle did it go below the moving average line but i can assure you most people did not make money in tcs today till about 12 o'clock it was straight up it is easy to say at the end of the day that you should have just stayed put next week also it will go up or why sell so early now you might call it a range at these points it is very hard to keep your conviction many people would have sold off early and attempted to come back only to burn their hands i was among them if we plot the histogram of tcs prices since the starting of this decade then this was the frequency of today in terms of percentage gain fis are buying like anything dis are selling now you can perhaps try and relate it to the mark cuban quote that i shared earlier hcl just declared the results i haven't got the time to fully go through it but there is actually no need the results are poor 344 crore was the other income last june it has increased to 1100 crore this is the source of 20% year on year growth the revenue is flattish over one year not even 2000 growth not even 10% growth in fact quarter on quarter this has gone down only now you can relate it to the video i released for the it sector review and also what i have said several times in my videos that you will get two pictures q on q for some stocks year on year for other stocks tcs i have not still fully digested the results though i have been trading into it hcl tech my view is thumbs down now as a promoter or a shareholder the company's money has grown no doubt about it core business hasn't core business has gone down only it is now up to you whether you want to continue with this business invest in this business or not but an unprofitable core business is a strict no in my books there are enough of other growth stories around where promoters want to grow the bigger business now we'll read to the first quote that i shared of enjoying life india's retail inflation has increased elections are over we can publish the inflation numbers now this is predominantly food inflation and the country is going through floods the tomato potato onion inflation is about to hit in the next 2 3 months so this will get worse only hcl has themselves said that the annual revenue growth will be 3 to 5% only nsc has removed thousand stocks from the collateral list these are popular stocks which people held and used as collateral to pledge and get money this will have a big impact because the universe size has become smaller people who are used to pledging and using this as collateral they will get rid of a significant amount of stocks from their portfolio and move to ultra large caps which will increase their pe further their demand will skyrocket if they are not in this 1000 list the stocks in this 1000 list even if they are high quality stocks will get butchered at least the pe will go down significantly for those stocks for literally no growth reason So, if your favorite stocks where you have significant holding is is there in this thousand stocks, so do take a note and test your conviction because there could be a five to ten percent fall at least in at least some of the popular stocks. Nifty was up point eight percent. Bank Nifty did not perform at all. The heavyweights HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank cancelled each other and did not go anywhere. SBI tried hard, however, it could not do much. Also, the percentage contribution of TCS and Reliance. along with infosys was phenomenal a lot of fii buying probably happened in both of these stocks maybe a little bit in hdfc bank also now budget season is also underway agri seems to be a big themes in terms of expectations as well as speculation anything related to agri may be on fire next week stocks have already gone up a lot of people have still not invested for the budget neither in railway stocks nor agri stocks so there could be a catch up rally next week ahead of the budget this is not a stock going up 5% this is a sector going up 5% there is no point in talking about any other indices today nifty 50 actually sunk half percent gold corrected a bit silver today corrected a lot 1.5% bitcoin up a little rupee strengthened a bit crude increased look at what happened to nasdaq overnight spooked by tesla's 
lay in one of their vehicles a sea of red everything down that to big cuts nvidia losing 5.6% of its market cap in one day meta 4% these are very large cuts in nasdaq and now contrast it with what we had in our it i have mentioned it so many times so i'll not go too much into details but nearly everything in the index which is heavyweight shot up at the same time today a remarkable coincidence once more reliance was up mostly after 12 o'clock icici was down mostly after 12 o'clock infosys up tcs up hdfc went up and then corrected a bit sbi was choppy itc reverse of hdfc bank nifty was in a fine range bank nifty was a bit choppy but in a very narrow range the vix eventually collapsed psu banks continued to sulk volumes are picking up for banks people have to take a call whether they have to stay or get out before the results and the budget budget will either lead to banks going up 10% or going down 15 to 20% irfc was on fire today also 5.5% defense i forgot today what i say every day the defense pack opened high went low consolidated some stocks went up a little bit what i forgot was i bought grsc here and then it wiped out a lot of the capital i had added 2660 to 2580 big 80 point fall overall the sector was in deep red volumes also were not very high now this is not a sign of saturation it is just that today people are busy in other sectors this sector will be buy on every dip metals had a bad day today also selective stocks were up it so now we have results of tcs done at cl done infosys there is anticipation Wipro 2 has gone up 5%. Zomato, I mentioned at 200 that it will now reach new heights. It is now at 222. Persistent was up another 4%. Right now you need the slightest of reason, a headline to go up. Most people will like HCL results also the way they like TCS results. So the sector and some of the IT stocks may still go up further, but that will only increase the pain in the months to come. The power pack was red today, half percent down. volumes were okay i haven't seen the news yet but oil india has been on a tear it almost seems like it has a it subsidiary maybe the volumes are highest for oil india market breadth was not that good 16 sectors only were up no points for guessing softer and it contributed most followed by oil and gas banking food and tobacco heavy machinery real estate aerospace and defense auto were dragging the indices down look at auto i talked about maruti in some of the updates earlier this week 1.2% down this will go down further in my opinion now the results may be good but the forecast is not looking rosy rvnl corrected a bit lnt was up a seesaw going on between these two stocks cement up a bit some of the smaller stocks in this space now may be a contender for an acquisition as the war heats up between ultra tech and the dani group adani enterprises like i said yesterday goes half percent down every day dmart up food and tobacco the top stocks were up etc nestle britannia tata consumer good gains home building was down severely let's see how real estate was doing investment banking is correcting still the stocks are in the 52 week high zone only at least hdfc and nippon are pretty high meanwhile tata investment motilal oswal they have gone down significantly same with bse look at the cuts in the heavy machinery pack this is ahead of the results so the complete attention was on tcs but there was lot of selling in this sector pharma mix pack yep real estate deep cuts there was no announcement from the textile minister so the stocks were down this is a joke continuing from yesterday nifty 50 16 stocks down 34 up tcs infosys reliance wipro hcl axis bank were the leaders maruti icici airtel coal india kotak mahindra were the laggards low volumes were there today only in hero and icher motors the high contributors had phenomenal volumes all the high contributors are suddenly in the 10th zone tcs infosys reliance wipro next 50 however was not as good 29 stocks down 21 up info at zomato shriram finance ircc up shriram finance has been up after a long time what was down ioc abb bank of baroda siemens the laggards had high volumes so did the top companies my trades for the day i already mentioned about grsc it is in some losses i bought oil which is oil india limited it fell down as soon as i bought it then it shot up like anything and then it came down a bit i converted a bit of my cash to sgb irfc 
द सेकेंड ट्रांच ऑफ थर्टी थ्री परसेंट वेंट आउट टूडे देर इज ओनली थर्टी थ्री परसेंट क्वान्टिटी लेफ्ट इन द ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट देर इज अ लिटिल मोर लाइंग इन द लॉन्ग टर्म अकाउंट ऑल्सो डिसेंट मनी ऑन आई आर एफ सी द स्टॉक दैट आई सोल्ड टूडे ऑप्शन ट्रेड आर ऑल्सो प्रॉफिटेबल लेट्स गो देर सो डिसेंट प्रॉफिट फॉर द डे दिस वॉज एक्चुअली लॉट हायर अवर टू स्टूपेड ट्रेड टूवर्ड्स द एंड आई टॉक अबाउट दैम निफ्टी आई एक्चुअली मेड मनी शॉर्टिंग द मार्केट दिस वॉज अ वेरी स्मॉल ट्रेड ओनली and a scalping kind of trade which i quickly closed the other two positions were long positions along with tcs infosys was taking a free ride so i bought a bit in infosys but i came out early tcs the first trade is the two lots that i had yesterday gave 22000 profit now if i had kept it for two more hours this would have given probably 50000 more profit towards end i thought tcs will come down so i shorted tcs a bit but the losses were mounting so i came out then i tried going long that also resulted into a loss so i closed that position also and i closed my terminal there was no point in fighting the big traders because it was not about technicals fundamentals any longer now in the next one or two weeks leading into the budget season you will have three options one is to do nothing stay where you are markets will go up down but with huge volatility no one knows that towards end of the season markets will be up or down i personally feel that a lot of good news or expectations are priced in and looking at the money on the sidelines every good news or every headline rather would take the stock sectors and markets up only more and more unreasonable levels earnings are not rising that rapidly we have seen in tcs and hcl both that there is no major uptick in earnings as of now but there are lot more results to go especially outside it selective stocks selective sectors will do well only option 2 is to reduce your position say by 25% 50% so that if market goes up you still have some quantity left to sell but if it goes down you can buy whatever you sold at slightly lower or lot lower prices the third option is to buy more now as a trader it may not be a bad idea because markets are looking very bullish right now but the fall in stocks and markets will be ferocious whenever they come people who are trying to time the tops they may be lucky if they succeed but it is very hard to predict the tops as well as bottoms if you want to try some speculation do it with limited capital not with majority of it have a fantastic weekend thanks for watching i'll see you on monday